happening now and, and, and the Scala as well for coming to Belfast to, to promote children in need. And look, aren't they looking beautiful? Yes, I am a bit of a classical scholar. So I hear, yes. yes. I'm very into the works of Catherine Jenkins. Now, why, big, I am a big why does scholar. that not surprise me, Eamon? <laughs> followed by Catherine's work. I'm a big fan of what you do, girls. Britain's Got Talent cost me a fortune voting for you. Uh, but that's what, we're going back a couple of years now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's been um, an amazing year for us. Yeah. And we've been and travelling around. And, and you look at all the kids in that hall tonight and how you make classical music cool. I hope so. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's been one of the lovely things, all the comments we've had from you know, parents saying that their children either want to carry on practising or want to start learning. Mm. It's lovely. And this is not your first time to Belfast, isn't that right? Yeah. No. So you've got family. Yeah. yeah, I think my gran will be watching tonight. <laughs> and will give, give your gran, gran away. She gonna be? She's in Cumber. She's not. Yeah. She, yeah. she lives potatoes in Cumber. <laughs> yeah, that's a very good place for potatoes. What's your gran's name? Um, well, to me, she's Nanny, but she's Joe. Nanny Joe, Joe. Yeah. Nanny Joe. Good, good evening, <laughs> Nanny Joe. Yeah. Miss Izzy there. I'm that. sure she's very proud uh, of you down there in and Cumber. And when you were doing all those classes at school, and, I mean, you never thought, presumably had you ambitions to be in orchestras and things like that, is that? And I think he was the youngest was member of the RPA. I oh, was in wow. an orchestra, yeah. London yeah. Philharmonic. Royal Philharmonic. Yeah. Yeah. Royal Philharmonic, yeah. 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 right. Yeah. Very yeah. Nice. Yeah. Eamon, we're going on tour with Catherine Jenkins next year. Are so you? you should come yeah. along. I want to <laughs> listen, <laughs> I, even to make the tea, <laughs> He's anything. He's already got his ticket. Yes. When's that going to be? March. Yeah. March. Next March. Next March. Yeah. And you come to Belfast for that one? Uh, no, I don't. Wouldn't matter, I'll go to the ends of the earth, it doesn't really matter. That'll be fine. Brilliant. Brilliant. You Brilliant. deserve your success. Thanks for supporting for us tonight. tonight. Yeah. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you. That's a scala. Thank you very Lovely much indeed. 0345 double three two two double three. And I read that wrong. 03457. There was a seven in there. They have it written down already anyway. Yeah, okay. Just make sure you get lift those phones. Now it's time for the eagerly awaited dash for cash steeplechase between that old warhorse Jerry Anderson and the top oh, weight yes. Stephen Nolan. Yes, but there may be a spring in Jerry's step for this one. There's <laughs> a lot of rivalry between these two, remember. For a bit of info side information on the runners and the riders, we're going to cross to the starting line where our version of John McCreary, who is the very, very cool Mr. Tio Cruz. The very man yes. himself. He has the latest on the betting. What do you think, Tio? Ooh, that's a tough one.